surviving the Ice Age. Here's how they did it. Over its 4.5 billion year history, the Earth has swung between periods of extreme heat and extreme cold. The Ice Age in particular was a chilly chapter that lasted within a span of approximately 2.4 billion years. In this video, we'll look into how ancient human ancestors survived one of mankind's harshest eras. Let's take a step back in time into the vast frozen landscapes and majestic icebergs found in the Ice Age. Winter is here. The Ice Age, as the name suggests, was the time in the past when the climate was much, much colder than it is today. In fact, around one third of the Earth was covered in ice sheets. They were like giant blankets of ice, also known as continental glaciers, that spread over at least 20,000 square miles of land. To put that into perspective, that's big enough to wrap up a whole country like Costa Rica in one continuous blanket of ice. This particular ice age, known as the Quaternary, kicked off around 2.6 million years ago. Fun fact, Earth has experienced at least five major ice ages. The very first one happened roughly 2 billion years ago and stuck around for a whopping 300 million years. So why isn't the Earth covered in ice right now? The answer is that we are in a period known as an interglacial. In an ice age, temperatures will fluctuate between colder and warmer levels. Ice sheets and glaciers melt during warmer phases, called interglaciation, and expand during colder phases, called glaciation. This is when glaciers move towards the equator. The Earth is in the period of intergalation now because the glaciers have moved back to the North and South Poles. That said, two major ice sheets still exist today. They are in Greenland and Antarctica. Greenland's ice sheet is about three times the size of Texas and Antarctica's could cover the surface area of the United States and Mexico combined. But one big question remains. How did the Ice Age happen in the first place? Well, there is geological evidence for many warming and cooling periods throughout Earth's over 4 billion year history. You see, the Ice Age was not caused by one singular event. Instead, multiple factors contributed to the Earth's temperature fluctuations. Things like how close we are to the Sun, the tilt of the Earth, and even tiny alterations in the atmosphere or ocean currents played a role. It goes to show how small alterations persisting over extended periods can eventually bring about significant changes in the climate. Surviving the Ice Age Our ancestors were able to survive the Ice Age thanks to evolution. Their brains developed to be larger and they began walking completely upright. Armed with big creative brains and sophisticated tools, these early modern humans, nearly identical to ourselves physically, not only survived but also thrived in their harsh surroundings. Moreover, many scientists believe that language, art, and storytelling immensely helped with their survival. With the advent of language, knowledge about the natural world and new technologies could be shared between neighboring bands of humans and also passed down from generation to generation via storytelling. Not just that, our ancestors used things like music, dance, and art to share loads of information about seasons, which plants were good to eat, where animals moved, how the weather behaved, and much, much more. The elaborate cave paintings at sites like Lascaux and Chauvet in France show how well people in the late Ice Age understood the natural world, especially the animals they relied on for survival. Now, let's look at the tools that were used by Ice Age humans. During this time, one super important tool was the burin. It might look simple, like a basic rock chisel, but it was a rock star. They used it to cut grooves and notches into bones and antlers, which were light but tough and sturdy, Think of it like a Swiss Army knife, but from way back then. Their tool collection was like an awesome set of specialized gadgets, mostly carved from grooved antlers and bones. Even though their hunting tools were pretty advanced, they had a catch. They were mainly good for close-up battles, sometimes requiring a hunter to jump onto the back of a big animal. Once again, our clever ancestors used their brains and planning skills to make hunting a bit safer and less of a guessing game. But how about the cold? How did they manage to cope with the extreme weather? Well, around 45,000 years ago, when people moved to colder places, they came up with simple clothes to stay warm. They wrapped themselves in loose animal hides. Think of them as fur coats, which did more than just keep them cozy. They also worked as sleeping bags, carried babies, and shielded their hands when they were chiseling stones. Pretty smart, right? But everything changed around 30,000 years ago when what some scientists argue is the most important invention of human history, 
the needle. If you saw a needle from 20,000 to 30,000 years ago, you'd know what it was instantly, a very fine pointed tool with a hole in one end to put thread through. The miracle of the needle was that it enabled humans to make tight fitting clothing tailored to the individual and that was a complete game changer. Similar to how we layer up in modern mountain gear, clothing in the late Ice Age was all about layers. An Ice Age tailor would carefully pick different animal skins from reindeer, arctic foxes, hares and even birds like ptarmigans and stitch together three or four layers to create garments from moisture wicking underwear to waterproof pants and parkas. The thread was made from wild flax and other vegetable fibers and even dyed different colors like turquoise and pink. The result was a fitted, versatile wardrobe that fully protected its wearer from sub-freezing temperatures. And what about shelter, you may be asking? What served as a roof over the heads of our ancestors? For shelter in the coldest months, our Ice Age ancestors didn't live deep in caves as Victorian archaeologists once believed, but they did make their homes in natural rock shelters. These were usually roomy depressions cut into the walls of riverbeds beneath the protective overhang. There's strong evidence that humans made extensive modifications to weatherproof their rock shelters during the Ice Age. They draped large hides from the overhangs to protect themselves from piercing winds and built internal tent-like structures made from wooden poles covered with sewn hides. All of this was situated around a blazing hearth which reflected heat and light off the rock walls. In the brief summer months, the hunters would move out into the open plains, stretching from Europe's Atlantic coast to Siberia. With cold temperatures persisting at night, shelter was taken in dome-shaped huts, particularly dug into the earth. The framework was built from a latticework of mammoth bones, either hunted or raided from carcasses. On top of it, they laid sod or animal hides to make a house that was occupied for months on end. What about their dietary practices? How did they satisfy their hunger during the cold age? Well, during Ice Age, humans first survived through foraging and gathering nuts, berries and other plants as food. They began hunting herds of animals because it provided a reliable food source. Many of the herds that they followed, such as birds, were migratory. They, like humans, were constantly on the move in search of food. Following these migratory herds helped the human brain to develop. Humans needed to understand how these herds moved. They needed to know how to outsmart and track them. They also needed to keep pace with them as they followed them. This led to the development of longer legs and upright walking. But guess what? Humans weren't the only ones on the hunt for food during the Ice Age. Some wild animals were also out there doing their mealtime hustle. Speaking of animals, you'd recognize a bunch of them from the Ice Age, like the brown bears, caribou and wolves. But there were also these big creatures, called the megafauna, that sadly went extinct when the Ice Age ended. Think mammoths, mastodons, saber-toothed cats, and giant ground sloths. Now, here's the mystery. Why did these animals disappear? One idea is that when humans crossed paths with megafauna, they might have hunted them so much that they went extinct. Scientists also believe that a mix of early humans and changing climate played a part in wiping out some cold adapted animals and the near extinction of others. So, could we survive the next glacial period? Well, we sure survived the last one. But back then, there weren't 8 billion of us, all expecting dinner every night. And they only relied on stone-made tools and needles, not nuclear weapons. 